Hey guys, this is PKS. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss how you can choose a right database for your microservice. So let's suppose you are sitting in a system design interview and you just have 45 to 60 minutes and you have to solve the problem. Choose a right database for your APIs, right? Guys, choosing a right database is a most important decision for your service. If you realize later on you made a mistake, so migrating one database to another is always a time taking task. It will be costly too, right? So every database technology has advantages and disadvantages. Guys, you know pretty much well we have SQL and no SQL type databases. So let's consider the following criteria to choose a right database. So let's get started. So number one criteria is query pattern. How you are fetching a data from database is one of the best way to identify which kind of database is most suitable for you. So for an example, let's say if you are fetching a data from a key only, then Redis or DynamoDB is good to use. Let's say if you are using a key plus one or two column, that means wide columns trajectory, that means you can use Cassandra and DynamoDB again. But if you are fetching from multiple columns, right, then you can use MySQL, Postgres, or even you can choose MongoDB and CouchDB, right? If you want to display some search or like fuzzy search, then definitely you can use Elasticsearch and Solar. So second criteria is consistency. So guys, if you need a strong consistency or eventual consistency, you have to think over that, right? So for an example, if you are working on some uh, financial transaction based application, a banking application, then definitely you need asset compliance database. That means you have to choose MySQL, Postgres, Oracle type of database which provides high reliability and consistency. If you are working on some application like comment or some other things, then definitely you can go with no SQL type database and you can use Cassandra or something like that. The third criteria is performance. So guys, when your data grows exponentially, all the database performance in, in terms of throughput and latency will definitely impact, right? So in case of MySQL or other relational database, you can increase a disk size and you can apply a partitioning, sharding, but at somehow, at some stage, these solutions cause lot of complexity to your system and database. Or as the other side, you have some good cloud solutions, again, depend on the requirement, right? So you can choose DynamoDB, a Bigtable, SeelaDB. These database gives a very low latency, like 10 millisecond to fetch a single record. So again, choice is yours. So fourth criteria is the cost. So guys, once data is growing exceptionally, right? So definitely storage and usage data is have a cost, right? So for example, if you are going with cloud-based solution, then definitely you have to, uh, the cost will be high and you have to pay as per the data and how much indexes you are use, are you using some a caching uh, technology as well? For example, in case of DynamoDB, there is a DEX service as well. So there is an extra cost for that. So cost is a very important parameter if you are looking for a specific database. So guys, last and the fifth point is maturity and stability. So for an example, if you go with a self hosted database, right, self-managed database, then definitely 
either you or your DBA should be very proficient in uh, the database you are using, right? Otherwise, you have to go with native solutions or cloud solutions, right? So this is another very important criteria to how to move forward. So guys, that's all for this particular video hope these quick small five pointers or criteria will help in your system design interview because it is just a 45 to 60 minute interviews right and we have to solve the problem and choose the right database so thanks for the watching have a nice day bye happy learning